back in 2008, I was part of a class called the Kick Gas Class, Kick Gas Club. And we built this car. We did a gas to electric conversion on this car. They called it the Solar Beetle. You're right. All right, hey, I'm Mr. G, and we are at the EVLC with some great people. We got Mike Norin, we got Ali in the house. These are volunteers as part of the Electric Vehicle Learning Center. Uh, last summer, we did a vehicle. This summer, we're just kind of uh, visiting the class, but we got a special vehicle here. This is a relic uh, from the past, but uh, it's part of my past and now part of EVLC. So this is the Kick Gas Car Club Back in 2008, um, this car was converted from gas to electric. Yes, 2008, think about that. It was a lead acid conversion with a DC motor that we'll show you. We'll show you that it still runs. It's been updated with a few things. Um, but the amazing part was it was 25 people in a class, knew nothing, came in, and Mr. Q, who is a retired auto shop teacher, and his name is Abram Quavetto. He lives in San Diego. And part of, they did the class at the, uh, the Unified San Diego District. It's close to downtown, close to Balboa Park. And we converted it in two weeks with weekends off. It was amazing. And it was a lot of work. And the only re reason it got done is because people stayed after school. Like it was, we were done at three and we just stayed until we finished everything we did. There's a couple cool things I should show you. There were lead acid batteries up here before. These are actually, actually Mike Norton can help us with that. What kind of batteries are these? The Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid. They're 16S. Uh, so we got two of them in series. Uh, yeah. And uh, they're running a little bit low right now. So we got to charge them and balance them. Okay. Yeah. What was in there before? Well, you had 12 lead acid AGM batteries. And they were, uh, I can't remember how many up front, but we had a whole bunch. And then the back, uh, we can go to the back, and uh, there's a whole box back here. If you look, there were a whole bunch of batteries back here as well. And believe it or not, it still has the original charger, and there was really no standard back then. So really, it was just a plug into the wall. So slow charging and no North, no North American charging standard. Also no, um, uh, no J1772. Uh, so it was a very early days. It only had 40 mile range, but it's got everything that a conversion needs. This is a good example, although kind of dusty and rusty, a uh, good example. So you got batteries, you have a speed controller, uh, which believe it or not, I, let's see. I actually don't know where the speed controller is right now. That is a good question. You got a DC motor. You can actually see it from below. Can you see that DC motor? There you go. Couple of, couple of features. This is a, uh, they call it a pop box, a potentiometer from Curtis controller. This is a rheostat. You, nowadays you want to use a Hall effect sensor. Um, there's a bunch of relays. Uh, this is the DC to DC converter relay. If this gets lower than eight volts, it'll open up all the relays and you can actually push that down by clicking it. You can actually click it on by push button. That was a kind of interesting feature. This is how the throttle works. He's pulling it right now. And so that's kind of set up like that. You have a vacuum pump that works on the brakes. You have an emergency shutoff, which I think is on the dash. It pulls the cable. You want to pull that cable? Oh, that pulls it on. There you go. It's off now. There you go. Okay, pull it back on. Good. And this is your DC to DC charger. And then some of the some of the features that you wouldn't think about as part of a conversion, it's really just manufacturing or hot routing, is that how are you going to support these batteries? So Look inside here, um, there's a steel bar and a steel bar. It's actually a tube, a square tube, and it went straight across there. And then this one had to come in and turn and come there. And that's riding on the frame because you want to do everything as stock as possible or as rigid as if 
as if the manufacturer was doing it. Uh, then below that, you have the original motor mounts, but then you had a motor mount that hangs down low to grab the, the motor, which then comes across and you have the original transmission. You wanna shift the gears a little? The original transmission is right there, and so you have, there's the shifter, and you have your original motor mounts, so nothing changed. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the overview. I think we can go and drive this thing. So we're back in the vehicle and uh, pretty much uh, standard setup. You just turn that on. I'm gonna make sure that, um, there's a bee investigating. I'm gonna make sure that we're out of gear and we got this on, uh, but as long as that contacts are closed, you hear that sound? You can actually, I could put this right by the motor. You know, it works like a regular car and uh, you got brakes. You can shift if you want to, um, but uh, pretty cool. I can hear the bearings. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's go. Should we go somewhere? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's work. Work. Come on. Put the windows down. Let's get the windows, we gotta, we gotta get the windows down. People to push it, it doesn't go well. All right, we're all getting in. Amazing. Hold on. Anybody got a tape put in there? Oh, tape. We don't Whoa! Need. It's pretty peppy. Oh, it's good. Holy shit! <laughs> Do the brakes work? Yeah. All right. Wow, this is amazing. Second gear. It's all right. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. This, this has been sitting for how long? Uh, how, a I couple mean, years. I, I know they keep they pushing it around they there. They revamped it a few times. Yeah. Uh, the Kick Gas Club became the EV Riders Club. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Third gear. Oh. All right, this all right. is going in the podcast Tuesday. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, let's see if it breaks up. Oh, brakes are good. Does it have a voltage uh, read out there? Burnout. <clears throat> oh, burnout. Because we were pretty low, weren't we? Oh, really? 12 volt battery. Well, <clears throat> yeah, that's amp on uh, Let's see. Because well, you said we were 55 on the 55, low one. 55, yeah. And 52 is the lowest you want to go? I mean, uh, that's it. we're only going like a mile of those. How do I move around the different. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Let's go. All right, let's do first gear. Ready? Sure. Uphill. Oh, that's all I got. That's it. <laughs> well, we got what? Uh, 800 pounds of people in here. Yeah. That's crazy when you think about that. Yeah. Like, oh, the car's 4,000 pounds. All right, downhill. Advantage. That's it. <laughs> nice. There's no regen. That's terrible. Fix that! Oh my God! What happened to this car? We should get Johnny on this. It's a <laughs> yeah. Put it. It's a newer Beetle. Yeah. This is it, right? What do you think? I'm loving this. This is awesome. <laughs> oh my God! That was an off road. Yeah. I mean, it works. It's peppy for the. Yeah. It's for no the TDI line. though. <laughs> like a 15 year old conversion. Yeah. Puppy. I watch my cursing in California now. Oh! <laughs> Stall out? No, it was because I changed it to the reverse and it was still spinning. Oh. oh. Dang. Oh, I'm feathering the clutch as if I needed to. <laughs> I forgot. Keep those RPMs. <laughs> cool. This is great. You, didn't even know, you don't need to push oh, in the clutch at all. I know, I don't know why I did that. It's like, I'm just happy to have it. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing the same thing. Alright. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, back we did in business. That. that was cool. Alright, let's get out of here. So, you know, it doesn't matter when you start, uh, but this is the fundamentals. Uh, see if you get yourself into conversions. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing to join a club, or you could join a class at the EVLC, or you could check out Mr. G's workshop in New Jersey. And, uh, you know, just join a bunch of people and do a conversion. It's, uh, it's a good time. You learn a lot about automotive engineering. And, of course, the gas engine is cool. But this is just an option. And it's a fun option. And you got to learn about the battery charging as well. That's, that is the new thing. It's not just lead acid and, 
check the voltage. Now you have to worry about balancing, and that's another thing when you're doing lithium. All right, see you soon.